Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I ask this question, I'm asking a lot of things kind of indiscriminately. I'm asking whoever's listening, whoever's watching, a simple thing. Did you put yourself into a career set, a career track that you singly can be responsible for your life throughout your entire lifetime, from birth to death? You see, it might be marvelous that you've made a partnership, or you made a husband, or you made a wife, or you made a spouse, you made a significant other, you made a live-in, or you made, I don't know, a louse. But the truth is, at some point you might be separated from them. They could go off and die in this marvelous pandemic that we have. But the point is, my question is, can you care for yourself? Can you tend to yourself? Did you produce enough children to look after yourself? Or have you produced a bunch of brood of kids that are so rude that they would never think about how to love and care and honor their parents? You see, I come in a family that I'd love to care for my aging parents, but I was always shoved out, pushed out of the way because siblings want more inheritance. And I'm like, you know, I'd rather have my dad back, thanks. But in life, we have to talk about the truth of the world. And when I ask someone, where's my mom at? And I get this answer back of a clinic. No, tell me what fucking clinic she's in so I can send some flowers or I can send a card or I can send a postcard or I can just call in and say, wish her well. But no, I'm not allowed because I'm the black sheep of the family. Is that you? Now, it can sound like I'm pissed off and I am. It can sound like I'm raging and I am. But the reality is in my life, I have the right to do things without some motherfucking shitbag getting on my computer, touching my telephone, and interfering with my fucking life to produce a living. Because the minute I find out who the fuck that is, I'm going to send their little asses into the FBI sling that they deserve to be in.